Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Airsoft Gaming, and today I'm going to be continuing the um, Airsoft on a Budget series with this um, $300 gun to compare with the last $300 gun that we unboxed, and we'll compare the two. Okay, so um, I'll go over specs after I get whatever's in the box out of it. I have a guest um, who has, he's, he's the owner of the $300 gun we unboxed last time, and this is the one uh, from me. So it was kind of almost like a competition, but really more of a comparison. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Hashtag Team Boyle. What could it be? I don't know, it's got green in it. It's probably a bag of mulch. Hopefully it comes with suppressor. Oh, look at this. No. Oh. It doesn't need a suppressor, it doesn't make live bones. Do I can't wait to see what I'm doing. What is all this? What's happening? I don't know, but there's like nothing what? in there. What? Oh, what? What is this? Oh, look, this is, this is part of it. We got, we got some of that. Oh, oh look at this. It's a color star or whatever. It's a, uh, ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at that. What else we got in here? Ooh, look at that. That's, that, that's cool. It's the ass end of a polar star. Ooh, what's this? Oh, could it, could it be? Could it be an upper? Could, it could, it could be. It, it could be, maybe. I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe it's a, uh, the ass end and the butt end of a polar star. Maybe, maybe it's a polar star. Maybe. I just got it for the fusion engine and the LPR rig. What are you doing? Okay, so um, I got it unboxed. Um, it's not pretty, as you can tell. It's it's fairly decent though. So what it is is it's a Polar Star uh, version two generation three fusion engine inside of a WE body. Uh, it's got an MOE stock and a, a angled foregrip. It's got some weird thing on a rail. That rail system is really nice, though. It runs about a hundred dollars or more. And the muzzle attachment is pretty cool. It's like um like a breaching thing, but less quality than I had expected. But I didn't expect much. Um, it comes with three high cap magazines. Those aren't really important. Um, it's got the both the battery as well as the FCU unit in the back and the stock. And it's got the, um, a firebase uh, regulator for normal HPA tanks around 3,000 psi, so it's not SLP. So that's nice. It's a more expensive one. It runs about $160. Comes with a dual connect line, as well as a Empire 3,000 uh, psi by 48 cubic inch tank. So overall, uh, if you estimate the cost, it's a $500 fusion engine, $100 rail system. $160 low pressure rig, $40 air tank, and that's just the major items. There's a lot of smaller stuff on this that probably total at least $100, but um, that you can get for um, $300. Bucks. So this, uh, I got this about five minutes after it was posted. If I had waited any longer, it would have been sold to someone else. Um, Fusion engines alone run for about $380 on eBay right now, so um, I definitely scored pretty good with this one and I've got plans for it. So this is the project overview. Um, this is gonna be on another series. I'm gonna build this to a DMR as well as another upper for an assault rifle. Uh, this is for field. Um, I finished this last night. Um, the entire detailed list of the plan and the cost for it. Uh, so my total budget with this, including um, this lot for 300 is gonna be $1,000. And that's gonna be for um, this guy up here that's not calculated with that upper and whatever because I'm not too worried about that. Um, so that's for another video, but um, this is just shows you the comparison of what you can get from uh, a store or what you can do um, if you go on eBay and try to look for this stuff. As you can tell, this gun's a hot mess, but I'm definitely willing to um, fix it up and really I'm just gutting it and using the Fusion Engine, but um, you can definitely score really big on eBay. Um, you just have to know what you're doing and always be on the lookout for new deals. So that about wraps it up for this episode of Wolf Race Off Gaming. Hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.
Yeah, it does. Oh, uh, so it sticks in there and then you shoot through the other side? Yeah. Because that way you can't miss. Damn. Because what happens is, is if you have a regular flash hider versus the round one, it just kind of goes like this. So if you want to slam it into the door and not have it go everywhere, you have to smash it in there. And then it looks like that. Goddamn the boil.